It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a 650 bottle of Lines Brewing Company based in Caerphilly, Wales. It's their double IPA blend coming in at 8.1% ABV. It's been dry hopped with Nelson Sovin Citra Centennial. How amazing is that? Uh, here's the black bottle cap. Uh, I'm being quite careful. I picked this beer up from the brewery. The brewer in his honesty, which I like, told me that this beer might be a little bit lively. So without further ado, I got my glass ready, my opener, bottle. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. It certainly is. Bit of a lively beer. Did you see that? Wow. So the beer. Yeah, it was quite lively. It was quite lively. I kind of just managed to get, while we're away, I managed to get some more beer into the glass. Uh, the beer was kind of spouting out the top a little bit. Uh, that's all sorted now, it's gone away. So we got a hazy, very hazy, cloudy double IPA coming in at 8.1% 8, 8 ABV. Three to four finger white head that's kind of collapsing on itself very quickly. Let's get the aroma. Oh wow. Do you know when a beer pops on you like that? But then you get the aroma of a fantastic, fantastic double IPA. With Brett, by the way. And you kind of don't mind either because you've already spoken to the brewer and the brewer said, look, please, by all means, have a bottle of this, but it's quite lively. Then you're prepared for it, you know. So, it, of course it does matter. You might buy this beer blind, you might open it on your cream carpet and it might go everywhere. Um, look, thank goodness cream carpet isn't our thing anymore. <laughs> but, um, luckily for me, I know. I knew it was going to be a bit of a lively number. So I got a big glass and I opened it, of course, over my sink. Hazy. Three to four finger white head, great aroma, tropical fruits, a little bit of bread, fleshy blood orange, grapefruit, citrus. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's a nice beer. It's a nice beer. The, the thing with Lines Brewing Company is they're a bit of a farmhouse, kind of sour, Bretomyces style brewery. It's, it's all a bit Belgian. Um, they're, they're about 15 miles away from me, so I drove up there a couple of days ago and, and drank some beer and come away with a couple of bottles. And I even have a, a, a Russian Imperial Stout that's, that's been brewed with some... Let me get it. Primary Brett Impre Imperial Stout. Look at this. So they're doing things differently. It's a double IPA. You get all of that grapefruit, mango, citrus, pine needle, but then you also get a bit of, a little bit of Brett. Brettomyces, Brett for short. What does that mean for the beer? It's a little bit horse blankety. It's not sour, 
but it's a little bit horse blankety, it's a little bit wild. Mix with them hops. Let me remind myself of the hops. Nelson, Sovin, Citra, Centennial. It's pretty good. Nice biscuit malts. Good levels of carbonation. Naturally, again, with a bread beer. I like that. No alcohol kick at all for that 8.1% ABV. Let's rate it. I like that beer enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily Sorry, beer reviews. Give sure. us a big fat thumbs up. Shut up Alexa and cheers!